Okay, I've already done one on this one, but um, the key-in circuit went out on it because I was going to use it for a driver to work on some 500Z products I got. Um, projects I have. Um, so I put it on a bench and uh, replaced the keying circuit with a Nomad keying circuit and uh, just going to do a quick key down on, on it um, before I put it all back together and put it in line and use it for a driver for my um, 500Z projects. Anyway, Mako 75, this one's been modified, not by me. Um, and somebody put that brown... Um, cover or overlay on the thing um, I can see why that ugly green uh, just doesn't do it for it uses a single M2057 tube in this one which is the heavy duty version of the 8950 aka 6LF6 tube 12 volt filament uh, single tube I always talk about the number of turns in the um, tank circuit and I guess this uses eight or nine remember the less tubes the more uh, coil turns you need and since this is a one tuber and it's set up to be a modulator so it's actually a light lighter load on it than the average um, I think it uses nine turns in this if I counted it but it's on so I'm not sticking my fingers close to that to try to count it so uh, you can do the counting for me if you want to um, and it had an older version of, I think the Nomad uh, keying circuit in it and I just replaced it with a newer version. That's the uh, Nomad key and circuit. Costs about 20 bucks for them things. Uh, not cheap. And I could make my own, you know, using the Black Cat or the uh, Palomar has a pretty good key and circuit. But, you know, the parts count, you know, for them is higher and they're not as dependable as the Nomad. So I just go ahead and um, spend the 20 or actually I buy a bunch of them and I get a better price for it from Nomad and uh, just pop in the Nomad uh, keying circuit that little board right there nomadradio.com and that big blue resistor on top of it comes with it and you use that for low power radios and he has a um, higher ohmage resistor that he uses that you could use for a higher powered radio but since I only use for the most part low powered radios into this one two amplifier I'm not gonna put you know power into it anyway um, I use that um, lower ohm resistor and it works good I think the Nomad says that key in circuit will work for any radio from um, quarter watt to a 25 and it'll work in the key up and then from like 25 to like a hundred I think um, you change the resistor and it'll work for the higher power radios but Nomad Kia circuit has already been recapped and went through and uh, I was having some issues with that Mud Duck uh, Midland radio I've been using for ages so I dug out this uh, Chris XL40 uh, little 40 channel Mud Duck radio um, basically because I read online it has some really good ears and uh, it's my goofing around with playing you know in amps and bench radios I don't want to put nothing too expensive you know in line for a test radio because if it gets some feedback or blows up you know I don't want to be out of a, a lot of money so I just using this mud duck radio so anyway I think I'm on an antenna not a dummy load but I get about the same thing so this is just the uh, radio key down 20 watt scale dead keen about three audio 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 talking about five and a half maybe six <whistles> whistling to about seven or eight you know my whistle was working earlier but I guess when I talk a lot you know my voice dries up and that's why my, why my whistle goes out in these videos um, hard to keep talking with my mouth and uh, having my whistle work too I guess but anyway um, that's what the radio's doing putting into it I'm gonna turn the amp on and go to the 200 watt scale just that 3 watt radio going into it right so I did can 10 on the 200 watt scale on average mind you audio 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 talking about 125 
audio on average with the little three watt radio going into it swinging a 10 so I'm dead keying about 10 talking to 125 audio and last I'm gonna put it on peak one two modulator I like these make 75 audio 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 200 watt scale on peak right and I don't even know what it does on a 2000 Audio, audio, about 250. Audio, audio, 240. Audio, peak watts. Not bad for this little uh, one tube modulator there, uh, Mako 75. Yeah, we're going to have fun putting that into some 500Zs. Anyway, uh, that's it on this one. Bye.